just thought we would catch up a little bit and I would share with you guys some of my budget finds. Interior design is so hard, but it's fun. And there are communities out there like helping each other <laughs> with this stuff because it's not easy. And it can also be like kind of an emotional journey because you see items that were more reflective of who you were back then than who you are now but what you're trying to start like breathing more into your space is like who you are now or who you're hoping and wishing to become. So that's how I feel about our space. It's like, it's in transition. It's a mix of old and new. I'm just having fun with the process. That's, that's really it. So I'm gonna stop labbing now and let's just start talking about some of the finds. And as we do, you get to see what the rooms look like currently. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do because otherwise this video could easily be an hour long. I'm just gonna go through each of the rooms and speak on some of my favorite finds a little bit more but you'll probably see annotations and little tags and call outs on as we go through of where some of the things are from. And of course, if I have links to any of the items, I always try to list them down below so you can find them there. But let's just go ahead and start with the TV room. It's a very casual room. The couch, the biggest item in there, has more of a mid-century vibe. Found this one on Amazon. It is firm on the firmer side. I like that this one just like keeps its shape and the fabric is also pretty like resilient. So even if you spill or you know drop things on it, not too big of a deal. So thought that was really great for a more casual room. The lights are a vibe. Love those. Found those off Facebook Marketplace. $20 for the pair. It just emits such a nice, like moody, warm light and much, much better than the recess lighting that's currently in that room, in my opinion. So we rarely turn those on anymore. Okay, let's go over to the tea room. It's more of your formal sitting area, uh, more of a conversational area. It's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to look a little bit less casual, but still very cozy at the same time. So I think I achieved that. and. Honestly, the pieces I ended up acquiring for that room, not what I originally like kind of planned in my head or expected I would get, but I'm kind of digging it. Like, not bad. Mostly Facebook Marketplace finds in there, by the way. So the couch, the coffee table, and those French King Louis the 15 chairs. I wasn't sure if that was really the vibe I was going for, but I think it brings kind of this like nice little bit of elegance to the room. Though I don't know if these chairs are meant to be more like dining chairs or should be seated at a higher table. But for now, I'm kind of digging it. I just placed some pillows there to make it a little bit more comfortable. Once I started putting some furniture in there, I was like, wait, I need some trinkets. It's, it's feeling like it's missing something. So I went out to Goodwill and I found some of these little pieces that I was able to place on the coffee table and on the shelves. Nowhere near complete, but I feel like I'm kind of liking the minimalism of it as well. I just think we need to find something at least to sit above the mantle. So if you have any ideas, should it be a mirror? Should it be a piece of art? I'd love to hear your thoughts. The breakfast area. So I've spoken about these chairs before, but I'll just kind of briefly talk about them again because I do think they're really nice. And it was also just such a steal from Facebook Marketplace. They are Benny Linden Danish teakwood chairs. I don't think they produce these chairs anymore because I'm seeing these chairs listed on places like Cherish, First Dibs, I think Etsy, or is it eBay? One of the E's. <laughs> I'm seeing them listed for like thousand, like $1,600, just a lot more than I bought these for. And I got these for 250 for six chairs. You only see the four there. There are two other armchairs that I don't have sitting out anywhere because the cushions are broken. I was thinking like maybe I should get those repaired just in the event that I might ever want to resell these chairs. I just think if you have a whole set of six, you definitely, people probably would be willing to pay a bit more for that. I knew at the very least we could enjoy them for some time to come. The table, I've gotten a lot of questions on. It is not like a solid wood table. It's an engineered wood. So I think it's MDF and rubber wood. I'm not uh, an engineered wood snob by any means. I think there can be some really beautiful pieces made with that type of compressed wood. The only downside really is that it can scratch a little bit easily on the top. So maybe it would do us some good to get some like placemats and place it around the table. Otherwise, loving it. I Ever since I saw the style, I just felt like I couldn't not think about it.
So I feel like I've talked about and have showcased our patio furniture plenty on Instagram, but I don't think I've ever talked about it here. So here it is, teakwood, really great quality. Matt found this set on Amazon. I thought it was a pretty good deal because patio furniture can be pretty expensive. Oh my goodness, okay, so before we go up to the bedroom, we actually, at this time, we were really trying to find more furniture for the bedroom. So we saw that someone was listing this dresser for free. Okay, this is it. Hey, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see, is everything functioning okay? So far, so good. We ended up taking that home. It's in the bedroom. Once again, not a solid wood piece, but I do like the simple lines. I like the simplicity of it. So it's, I, I like it for now. I think it's not bad. Um, there are plastic bun feet on, like sitting underneath it. And I don't know if maybe we should replace that and maybe replace it with higher feet, which is exactly what we did with the couch in the tea room, by the way. I replaced the feet on that couch so that it would sit higher. It's just better because Matt's taller, so when he's sitting down, he's not doing like this like deep squat into the couch, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, if you ever have that problem where you're like, oh, this couch is too low, see if you could potentially swap out the feet. Uh, it makes such a huge difference, it really does. I even ended up being kind of crazy about how low profile or that I wanted our bed to be lower profile because originally when we had it in the apartment, it was just sitting so high. It made it tough to find nightstands that were tall enough. So we found this platform bed on Living Spaces. Really nice, not a bad price for the style of bed frame. Very sturdy from what I can tell. And I can't wait to swap, you know, the nightstands out and just give it a completely different vibe. It's just kind of fun to see like the bed finally come together because it was really lacking for a while. Like our mattress was just on the floor, no furniture in there. So I'm, I'm so excited. It's, it's really fun, really, really fun seeing all the pieces just start to come together. Um, and the room's just starting to feel more cozy and homey. But I think that is all. Whatever I can link, I will link down below. Would love to hear your thoughts. If there's anything you would personally change or add, let me know. It's leaving it open to interpretation and discussion down below. I'd really, really like to hear from you guys. And I've really missed you all too. I don't know if I said that earlier, but just wanted to say that. I know it's been a minute since I've been here. Um, always, always let me know what you would like to see next. Did you like this video? Do you want to see more like this? Because I feel like I'm constantly on the hunt. Right now, what I'm really thinking about is finding stuff for the entryway, because that has been a challenge. <laughs> but all right, all. Well, Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.